Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. We're back with another replay. This one is the Chaos Kid because it turned into an absolutely mental game for me. Um, as I was saying earlier in some of the other videos, that uh, for some reason I haven't been getting many full team games, but this turned out to be the exception to the rule as we did get four full teams. You see there we got quite a good balance, a couple of gunboats, a top boat. I know there's torpedoes and secondaries on the Shan Horse and the Gneis now, and there's certainly on the Heinrich, and there's a couple of big guns out there with the uh, North Carolina and the Colorado. So it looks like it's going to turn into a bit of an interesting game. Now I don't know why um, Hotspot is offset. I mean, obviously... This map is as it is, but um, they leave all that space on the side, whereas all the other maps are much more central in this game. On our team, we've got Ian Nelson and we've got Ian Colorado, and I kind of don't realise um, in a little bit what happens to this Nelson, but on watching the video back, I saw exactly what happened to the Nelson but uh, yeah we won't go there not yet anyway so we're gonna push in towards this cap we know there are two gunboats and uh, a torpedo boat destroyer wise but the important thing is to get something spotted first of all and this is difficult because Hotspot has a lot of very high islands and there's not many places you can get line of sight through it. So if anything, it turns into one of those maps where everything becomes very, very close. So we get the Scharnhorst and the Colorado spotted. That means that there's a, I think it's a Benham or a Benson out in front of me. I can see that he's kind of literally off my bow, but I don't know exactly where he is. So I'm going to turn in towards this cap. We do get him spotted. He knows he's spotted. He's obviously sort of putting torpedoes across this way because our Nelson and our Colorado um, are both pushing in because obviously the great thing is Nelson's got those super heels on it if they stick together they've got will to rebuild but no the Colorado turns and goes in the opposite direction and I don't realize this. I think I had two, you know, I thought I had two battleships pushing with me, but no, we've swung into the cap. I've got the Akatsuki, and I'm thinking, right, that other destroyer now knows that I'm on cap. He can come through behind me. I've got the Shan Horse of the Colorado there as well, and I am absolutely screwed. There is a set of torpedoes. Their secondaries coming in. I'm going to be taking a fire from the back, and I'm thinking, I can't go through the middle here because there's another ship out in front of me. But the Akatsuki decides to come round. I slam it in reverse. I'm going to take some damage here. I know I am. I'm going to pop my smoke shortly because once I've dealt with this guy, I want to make sure that I'm covered. We keep pounding on. We're trying to stay skinny. We know he can't get torpedoes off from that angle. He can get guns on us, but his reload is much longer than ours. There we go. He is dealt with first blood. Now I'm going to repair my engine, and we are going to get some shots on to this Scharnhorst. We've already uh, used our torpedoes. They're on cooldown, and uh, our Nelson is pushed in very very close that shan horse is obviously turning for torpedoes the um i guess the colorado is it up there is bow tanking and my other battleship is way up there at the 11 o'clock position of the map and i don't know what he's doing out there and i'll be frank 
I don't know what he was doing the whole game apart from following me around until we got to the very end. But there we go. We have uh, taken out two ships. The Shan horse was uh, a little bit... Well, it wasn't snipey because I was just laying as much fire on him as we could. I know there's a destroyer in that smoke there and I'm thinking I can push out and get torps on him. Nope, the battleship has turned and pushed in because he knows that our battleship is no risk to him at the moment and he doesn't want to be going out there alone. I get detected. I'm expecting shots coming in from the rear and all I'm going to be able to do is run around this island, drop detection and try and open up a little bit of distance. And uh, I think that was my Colorado asking for intelligence data. And I'm like, you cheeky son of a gun. You're all the way back there. And uh, I'm literally swimming in SH1T here because I rub against the beach. I get lucky in that that ship is not looking at me with his guns so I decide I'm going to carry on firing at him for as long as I can and then drop out behind this island. I know I'm still going to be in detection range when I come around this corner and I'm telling that guy look mate I need your help get in here give me some help and you know let's let's take this team to task. There's the destroyer He's obviously come all the way around the top. I'm worried that he's going to come out behind me. I know I'm spotted. I may as well stay spotted for a little while and try and get a fire on this guy. And the destroyer is pushing into the cap. I'm expecting him coming across that uh, gap to my left. But he doesn't. Colorado takes a shot at me. Does a bit of damage. And now I decide... That I need a breather. And I'm telling this guy. I need your help. You know. You've been all the way at the back of the map. Now I need your help. I need your guns. In this fight. So. We've been in. We've pushed the cap. We've killed a couple of ships. We've taken about. 30%. Damage. And now we're going to reposition and uh, try and get some of these other ships spotted. We can see that one team has pushed up the outside and come round. But uh, there's still a lot of ships out there that haven't been seen yet. Um, we are leading on kills. But very easy for another team to start picking up kills. And as I said, with this cap, it's very much a game of hide and seek because of the high islands i see a smoke screen there i'm looking for what's going on a ship gets killed sorry can't read that off the screen i'm very tired but we get the destroyer spotted we're not located and what i've noticed is a lot of destroyers are either running um, sims like i do or some of them are running um the RGA or the mod that gives them RGA for 3k detection which um, I've come the cropper of a couple of times in this arena by uh, running down a smoke screen and then realizing that at 3k's I'm getting detected and I've got no option but then to commit and it doesn't always work so yeah it's a bit of fun running that and uh, out detecting other dds that are trying to run you down um, i haven't tried it myself but now that i know how it works i'm a little bit more cautious about pushing a smoke screen um, radar you know you can tell which ships sorry you can tell which ships have got sonar you know that comes from knowledge of the game but if somebody's running a module that gives them um, the ability to detect you at three kilometers rather than two, you can't tell that until you hit that 3K mark. So if repositioned, we've pushed all the way down the outside. I can see that the battleship is on the gap and I'm gonna get some shots off at that Shanhorst while he's visible. 
but then I spot that destroyer again. We put the torpedoes across because he's going to turn, hoping that he might come out after us, but he's not. I want to get that Shanho spotted. He's low health. Now, the, the, the trick here is we want kills. The more kills we can get, then we don't have to contest the cap. So this Scharnhorst really needs to go before somebody else picks him up. That Heinrich out there has got some big secondaries on him. The Scharnhorst has got some big secondaries on him. So we pop the smoke, we drop on the Scharnhorst, he's gone. That Heinrich is now the target. And he disappears from view. This is becoming increasingly frustrating because I'm looking at where this Colorado is and he's really not in a position to support me at all. He's got a huge island behind him. It's probably going to be another couple of minutes before he can get into a position to help out. So all I'm going to do is try and reset that Heinrich, get a fire on him, avoid his secondaries, and there is still a Gneiss now out there as well. So we're going to have to push. We're going to have to push because if nobody else is going to contest, we are going to have to contest. And uh, looking at where the torps might run to, need that smoke screen to clear. That was just a quick chick check, a chick, a check to see what the other ship is. There is the Heinrich again. And we're going to be in secondary range, and this is the nightmare with going up against battleships. You think the DDs have all the fun, but they really don't. Battleships with sonar, battleships with huge secondaries. I've got the Gneiss now and the Heinrich there, and I realise I am going to have to commit and contest this cap, because I don't think this Gneiss now is going to be able to make it. But in doing so... I'm putting myself in the way of two sets of secondaries, which really isn't the smartest move, but there are points to be had here. I'm really hoping that sometime this week, that this Colorado that is on my team is going to get his backside around this corner and start slapping some of these ships. I lose my engine this is not good. I am spotted. That means the Gneis now is within three kilometers. There he is. I pick him up at two. I've got torpedoes ready. But this is one of those things where I'm thinking I'm just going to back up. And I'm going to get shot in the face. My torpedoes are out. I do indeed get shot in the face. Gneis now tries to outturn them. But he goes down for kill number three now i've got to face off against this heinrich my colorado has finally come around the corner i don't want to be where i'm at i haven't got torpedoes available he still got a lot of health he's got sonar he's got torpedoes he's got big secondaries i want to gtfo get the flip out of here and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Luckily, there is another island between he and I. So I am going to open up the gap. We've got this one on kills now. We don't need to kill this guy. But what we do need to do is prevent him from taking the cap. And we can do that with some cap resets. He is the only other ship left in the game. Knowing which direction he's heading, I swing a left because I'm going to try and get a line of sight between those two islands. And I'm just waiting for him to spot up, to pop up. Adjusting my sight line. I'm in open water. There he is. Now we're going to get guns on. He knows he's spotted. He's turning immediately. I think he thought that um, I was perhaps behind that island where I nailed the guys now. But he drops detection again. Our Colorado has finally made it round and into the cap. Now, the kid has very, very floaty shells. 
but this was a very nice position to be lobbing shells across and getting a little bit of extra damage we were keeping him you know under pressure he's trying to run out of the cap he can't win it he's had a great game because he's just picked up a high caliber and uh, he's absolutely slapping the Colorado so I'm just going to keep pumping the shots out there across the top there's a fire on him which I think is from the Colorado secondaries and I realize I'm on four kills and if we nobble this guy that's a Kraken but he's pushing further and further behind the island I'm going to still keep trying to get shots across the top of there whilst remaining undetected the clock ticks down to one second but the Colorado picks up the kill so there we go it proves that you can win with a pickup group but I certainly felt that I had to work hard for that one even though it's not a massive damage score you look at the number of gun hits you know 29 42 base xp five kills for the team nelson went back to port very early um i was fighting a 360 degree battle there and i really did have to come off that cap and catch my breath before pushing back in we make just over 400,000 credits off it i really do hope you've enjoyed watching this one um i've got a great game with a full division of friends and it rocks so click this link and watch that one because it goes to show how it can work when you are in a division and you are communicating hit that link now like and subscribe